Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we are solving a new question in BST or binary search tree. So basically our question is that uh, we are given a BST here. Now we need to see that if there exists a pair for a given sum, right? So basically if you see, uh, let's say if my given sum is, uh, if my given sum is let's say 15 plus 6, 21, right? So we need to check that whether there exists a pair whose sum is equal to the given sum which is 21 so if we can say that yes there exists a pair of value 6 and 15 right similarly uh, we can also have like 6 plus uh, 7 which is 13 so for 13 also we have one pair which is 6 and 7 similarly for 10 also we have one pair 8 and 10 8 and 2 right but like we don't have any pair for 14 because uh, yeah but for 14 we have because 8 plus uh, 5 8 plus 6 we have 14 but let's say um, uh, 20 right so we don't have any pair for 20 right so for 20 will return false right so for all these cases will return true 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 but for this case will return false right so it means for a given BST we need to see that for a given sum whether there exists a pair whose sum is equal to the given sum right so in our last question we solved this question but that was for binary tree right we solved exactly the same question that check whether there exist a pair for given sum but that was in binary tree and here we have the BST binary search tree right so because BST has some properties BST says that for every node for every node in left subtree all the nodes will have the lesser value for this particular node and in right side all the values in right side will have the greater values from this particular node right so in that question, in our last question for binary tree, we solved using the set. So it means that we have two solutions for this question. The one question, the one solution is uh, using the set that we solved last in last problem. And the other solution is using the in order thing, right? So first of all, let's see the solution first, uh, though you can see the previous video as well, but here also we'll explain that how we can solve using the set, right? So in first solution, what we, what we say, that you need to uh, you, you need to traverse this you need to traverse this value uh, traverse this BST in pre-order manner and whenever you are putting any value whenever you are putting any value just check that whether this sum minus node of dot node of data with check whether this value exists in set or not right so set basically we have taken a set here uh, will we can take set or and we can take hash set right so we can check that whether this value exists in this set or not and if this value exists then we are sure that there exists a pair otherwise and at the last if there is no such value then we can say it doesn't exist right so like let's start with this one what is my sum my sum is let's say 21 i'm solving for this one so currently i'm operating on this one right so it will check some minus node of data so it will check 21 minus node of data which is 15 so 21 minus 8 is 13 right so check whether this 13 exists in set it doesn't exist right so if it doesn't exist so what we do we basically put the current value in the set so that it is basically useful for the later cases now we go left and here we have 6 so again we check some minus node of data what is some 21 and some uh, the current value is 6 so check whether 15 exists in set it doesn't exist right so it doesn't exist then we put this 6 here into set then again we go further then we have 2 so we check again that sum minus current node which is uh, 19 so check whether 19 exists in this set it doesn't exist so we put this 2 value also in set right so then we go uh, we have covered this one covered this one then we have covered this one 7 now check that 21 minus 7 uh, whether 21 minus 7 is uh, it's uh, 14 right so check whether this 14 exists in this set it doesn't exist so we put this 7 here also in the set right so we have covered this one this one this one now let's come to this one 15 so check whether 21 minus 15 so this will give us 6 check whether 6 exists in set yes 6 exists in set it means if it exists here right so it means what it says that if some minus node of data let's say this is x so if this value exists in set it means that there exists x plus node of data right so node of data is current value and x is the existing value so like in this case node of data is 15 and x is 6 
and if this value exists, if 6 exists in here, it means we have got our values which is making sum equals to 21, right? So that is the concept of using the set and the, and so what we are doing here is the two important point. The one important point is that we are using set and the another point is that for every node we are checking that if some minus node of data exists in node and if it doesn't exist, so we are keep on putting the node of data value here, right? So now we'll, so we'll see the solution of this one. Now let's see the time complexity that what will the time complexity for this case. So if you see that for a particular basically if there are n nodes, right? If there are n nodes, then we are basically uh, calculating, we are basically traversing all the nodes. So it means it will be big O of n, right? Now if you see the time com space complexity, so because we are using set and at maximum you can store the n values, so again it will be big O of n, right? So this will be our one solution using the set, right? So I will show you the code, uh, but before that see the second solution. That what is the second solution, right? So secondly, because uh, we have this BHT, so we can basically solve using the in order thing, right? So we know that whenever, let's say if it is a BHT and if we are doing the in order, in order of any BHT, so it will always give me the in sorted manner, right? Like right now, uh, my sum that I need to calculate is 21. So first of all, do in order of this one. And whenever you are doing in order, then it keep on storing the values in, in a list, right? So let's say we have a list here. Uh, this is a list and keep on putting the value here. So like here, uh, first of all, we are doing in order. So it will go here, here, here. So first of all, it will add two. Then it will add six. Then it will add seven. Then it will add eight. Then it will add 15, right? This is my in order. So this is the in order for this particular question. So if you see that this is a kind of list we have, this is a list. Now, whenever we have, whenever we, whenever we are doing in order, we are also storing the values in a list. So this is my list. Now you see that this list is basically sorted manner, right? And my sum I need to calculate is 21 that I need to check whether there exists a value 21 or not. So how we can check that, right? Now this question has become exactly the same thing that for a given array check, uh, for a given sorted error, for, for a given sorted error check, that if there exists two values whose sum is equal to 21. So in that what we do? We basically start what y2 pointer. One is start pointer and one is end pointer. So end pointer is pointing to the end index and start pointer is pointing to the start index. Now we check that what is the value at here and here and we get the sum. So this is really the current sum. Current sum. So current sum will be 2 plus 15. This is 17, right? And if this sum is equal to the given sum, then we say return true because now we have got the sum. But if this sum is less than the given sum, it means then we need to increase the start value, right? Because it means it means this sum is lesser. It means I need to go further because I, we know that this is going in increasing manner. So it means I'll increase the start plus plus. But let's say if this value was greater than this one, then I, then I will decrease the end, right? So now I have, so now my start is at this index and my end is here. Now I again check that what is the current sum. So my current sum is 6 plus 15 and now it is 21, right? So if it is 21, now which is equal to the given sum. So I can say that which is matching. So it means I have found my solution. So I will return true, right? So this is my solution to, uh, so using the in order and using the property of BHT, I can solve this question and this was the solution one. Now, if you see that what is the time complexity in this case? So if you talk about the space complexity, so what we are doing, first of all, we are doing in order and we are putting the values in a list. So to in order, we have, we can solve in order in big O of n. Now after that, we are operating because we are moving from start and end and they are going again, for, then we are going moving further start and we are going for going uh, this direction. And so overall, if there are n element, we are again solving in big O of n, right? So it means overall time complexity is big O of n. Now if you talk about the space complexity, so because we are using list and at maximum we can store the n values. So again, my space complexity is big O of n, right? So for the both the solutions, my time complexity and space complexity are same, uh, big O of n and big O of n. So whatever solutions uh, you find, okay, you can use this one, right? Now let me show you the code as well for both the solutions that how we can do. So. Uh, this is how I have created my BHT, 
because I have so here basically I have inserted the values one by one and now I'm calling the function if pair exists when I'm passing the root and the given sum so let's say if I want to find 21 here and similarly for this also let's say 21 so this is my first solution of using the set if pair exists so let me go here and what I'm doing that basically I'm initializing a headset here like we mentioned that I am initializing a hash set and then I am calling the function if pair exists util. So it's on you if you want then you can initialize this hash set as a global variable and then you can have only one function if pair exists right. But uh, we have basically initialized of like this one so initialize the hash set here and then call the function if pair exists util where I am passing the node which is root node of bht sum and the set. So now what we are saying that uh, this basically we are doing it in, in pre-order manner right we'll solve in pre-order manner so if node is null then we'll return false now we'll check that if some minus node of data if this value exists in set or not right so it means if set dot contains this value and if set dot contains this value it means we'll return true right otherwise if it doesn't exist then we'll add the current value the node of data value into set right and then so this is basically pre-order manner so it means first of all we are operating this one and then we are moving to left side so we are saying that if we are getting the true value from the left side then we will return true so if we are getting in left subtree the true value then we need not to go to right side so that is why we are saying that if you are getting value if you are getting the uh, written if you are getting the true value in the left side so just return true otherwise go to right side and in right side uh, whatever the value is just return head right but here is the main concept that if if set contains this value then return true otherwise keep on adding the values in the set right so what will happen that if uh, if at the last you won't find any value which is not present here so it uh, anyhow at the last it will return false otherwise it will return true if values contains in the set right so this is the first solution that we thought and the second solution is this one check if pair exists so in this case first of all we are initializing a list where we'll, where we'll basically we'll keep on putting the values and then here we are calling the in order and I'm passing the node and the list now this is just in order function this is a usual in order but the only thing that we are doing that uh, we are basically putting the value we are putting the current value in node of data value in the list what will happen that at the last uh, when we are completing this in order this list will contain all the values uh, all the values of the BHT nodes values right now once you have done this one then we are calling this function check if pair exists util now in this function in check if pair exists util what we are doing so basically as we explained that we are using two variables one is start and one is end a start is pointing to the zero which is the first index and end is pointing to the last index so we can get last index using the list dot size uh, minus one right so list is basically that whatever the uh, whatever the elements we have so we can get list size and minus one now we are operating this until start is less than end so that that's why we are putting in while now we are getting the current sum that what is the current sum as of now so current sum is list dot get start it means we are getting the value which is present at first index at the start index and end index and then we are checking that if current sum is equal to the sum then in this case we have found out our value so we can simply return true but if current sum is less than sum so if current sum is less than sum it means it means that the value is lower than our given sum it means we need to because this is sorted manner so we need to go for forward from the start so that is why we are doing start plus plus right but let's say if your current sum is greater than sum so in this case if our current sum is greater than the sum it means we need to we need to reduce or we need to basically uh, decrease the end so that we can find the lesser value right so this is basically the standard function uh, to get the uh, to get the you know check or to check that if given pair exists or if pair exists for a given sum is sorted array so the same thing we are doing here right and at the last in between if it finds true it will return true otherwise at the last we can return false right so this is the two solutions that we are using to check that if there exists a pair for a given sum in a bht or binary search tree so that's it for this videos and uh, if you have doubts in any of the thing then please write in the comment section we'll try to explain that and i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there 
so that's it and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you